welcome back to Country Kids Outdoors. I hope you're having a, a sunnier day than we are today here in the western North Carolina. It's pretty nasty outside and uh, just keeps raining pretty hard on and off. But uh, this video here is about the uh, slab stick, uh, MT66 Bates, a uh, company of mine. And uh, really wanted to kind of go over what is different about the MT66 uh, slab stick. So the five inch slab stick, is our design this is uh this is not a reproduction of anybody else's bait i'm going to show you that today uh we actually spent months um trying to come up with uh the action that we wanted really that's what the design change was uh we wanted a different action to the standard five inch uh uh cinco as they call it out in the industry so uh obviously you guys seen online some of the different uh um, colors that we have, we got the Bumblegum Blast, uh, we have the uh, Stardust, uh, it's uh, got a lot of, got some black, got some silver glitter in there on the black, this is one of my favorite, this is the Cosmic Blue, uh, it's, um, it's got some blue in there and got some purple and got a little bit of uh, just different uh, blue flakes in there. Looks a lot better in the light there. It's hard to tell right there. Uh, this is our June Bug Jewel. Uh, that'll be really good this time of year here in the spring. But just even notice in my hand here, you see that tail? That is what we're going to talk about today, the difference. Look at that. I'm going to show you some things. I'm going to be real long. This is our Halloween pumpkin. Uh, your standard light green pumpkin with a little bit of orange flake in it. But look at that on the wacky rig. That's what I wanted to show you all. Look at that the difference uh you get i want you also notice here you know you always got the sack one thing that we did design this here where you would know exactly where to put this uh, wacky rig hook is if you're looking at the bait from the head to the tail here is the sack if you'll use the line of the back of the sack right there and hook that hook that in you're dead in the center look at that look at that action and uh so here we have, uh, just to compare, you got some Yoka, uh, Yoka's, uh, Yokamato, <laughs> sorry, Bates. Uh, I always say Yoka, Yokamata, uh, but I'm always just goofing around. So, and then when I try to talk, I sound like an idiot. So, uh, but here's some Yadamato. This is their five inch. One thing a lot of people don't realize, already is a true five inch. So if you line these up, really a Yadamato is about a quarter inch longer, but uh, does that help or don't that help? Well, that's what I want to show you today. Notice here on the shaky heads. Notice just by me holding the shaky heads. Look at our tail. Even just using moving around your hand. Look at this. You have to do a lot of moving on the Yadamato to get that bait. But look at this. I just barely move my hands. That is what the whole reason of the design change that we worked on at mt66 baits is look at that we wanted that action you cannot get that with this you see that you have to really work this thing to get it to go but i want you to notice that just barely moving on my hand look at that so that is exactly what this video was for today is to show you that the slab stick there's a reason for it we can get into more details on this real quick. So here's our Halloween pumpkin. And I want you to notice, if you start looking at dimensions here, obviously the old stick bait, the reason it was called stick bait, is you can see the difference here. But the Yadamato, ours is a little thicker. We're a little thinner. We got a little bit of taper right here. But when you get around to the fatty part of the worm, we're at about 425 that's almost a half an inch of diameter right around the sack area. I think that's that's what I call it. And the uh, the Yadamato is only three three fifty five. So big difference. So why is that? Well, when we made that thicker and then started to taper back to the smaller end is what give that the action. We're actually going to duplicate this in like our six inch, you know, we're going to have a six inch slab stick. I would love to go the whole way up to 10 inch 
in the same kind of deal. Now, obviously, at 10 inch, I think you're still going to get that that action. But I know a lot of you is probably saying, ah, they're just making, they've copied somebody. MC, MT66 will not do that. Uh, if we, if it is a copy, if you'll notice on our website, we will put down in when you click on that bait that it's a do it mold. Uh, it's an AI angler mold. A lot of them ones, you know, we're going to put them on there. But when they're ours, they're going to be our original design. Anything we make at MT66. So we're not copying. Yes. Uh, you know, we're going to offer some of the same baits that everybody else does. And, you know, because you just have to. I mean, them baits are not bad. Other people make great stuff. But we are actually, this is our passion, is to look at a original bait like the Cinco and, um, and put our twist on it. What we wanted to make better about it. So, so for this video, I just want to thank you all. We've had many orders. They're doing great. But you shaky head guys, I hope when you see this right here, me just barely moving my fingers, I want you to look at the action right there that you're going to get. Uh, that's going to tantalize some big, juicy uh, bass to come down there and slurp that baby up. So, hey, like I always say, you can't harvest them in the house. You got to get up, get outdoors, and have a great time. But do me a favor. Go over to kkoatacklebox.com. That's kkoatacklebox.com. And go over there and get your slab sticks today. We take all the payments on there. You just click on there. Put them in how many you want. We got all these wonderful colors. And hey, we just want to say we appreciate you. And thank you so much. Remember, with MT66 Baits, it's for a great cause. Uh, we're going to give a portion every year. And we're going to publicize that. To some kind of missionary missionaries to either get the word of god out all across the united states that's where we're heading for i know we got missionaries to go all the world and we're supposed to go into all the world and preach the gospel but i'm really concerned about the united states so i want to support um uh, starting churches that might be out west or something like that but you know someone that that, that uh, god would lay on our hearts to support uh, and that's where a portion of that's going to go every year. So thank you again. Have a great day.